bestie a day without a sleigh is a day wasted we are gonna go back in time and give ourselves a 90s makeover what is 90s makeup without the iconic but also unhinged cool toned eyeshadows brick brown lip liner and frosty lip gloss so that is what we are gonna do today i got a mini primer from prosh beauty it's the mini silk blur moisturizing primer and it is formulated with all the good hydrating nourishing ingredients like hyaluronic acid and fruit extracts that your skin needs to look and feel alive before stacking up those layers of makeup did you notice extravagant makeup is back and that is why i'm using a primer today i have seborrheic dermatitis and i avoid these skincare infused makeup as much as possible but this formula luckily did not react with my skin i don't really like uh, the thin eyebrows uh, 90s girlies used to rock so instead of plucking or changing my eyebrows what you can do is you can just mess around with your eyebrow hair and kind of make it look undone for this type of makeup your eyebrows should not look sleek and clean like the clean girl makeup but we don't want that slim eyebrows either so keeping it messy and undone will add to that 90s aesthetics we are going to do something artsy and creative let's apply all the cream based products first i was rewatching the k drama her private life and the mc main character she works in a private art museum as a curator and the entire k drama revolves around this art music and all of that so i thought i would do my makeup like i paint a portrait i was just vibing after watching that k drama i'm taking the darkest foundation i have the color bar uh, 24 hours weightless liquid foundation in fw 8.1 amber is the darkest foundation i own and it looks pretty dark i took some product and i applied it on the outer perimeter of my face and the area we usually contour and bronze now i'm blending it with my fingers because the color of this foundation is dark it will add warmthness to the outer perimeter of my skin but also definition to my face i took la girl pro conceal in fawn and i applied it uh, on the area where you see pigmentation and uneven skin tones under eye bags and mouth area are those problem places. this is for me if you look at my face i used to think fawn is a darker color for me but honestly i have been loving the shade once i blend it my face looks clean and even with this color it's that in between color brown girls love a concealer shade dark enough to hide pigmentation but light enough to blend with the rest of the skin the undertone of fawn is perfect too it's not orange but it's not cool toned it's not even neutral it's just so perfect for the center of my face i took a foundation that i really like it's way too underrated and it kind of makes me angry that people are not talking about flower beauty light illusion liquid foundation it's a dry skin friendly do be foundation and the best thing is it's one of those foundation formula that makes your skin look picture perfect this shade is very light for me so this is what i did i mixed it with the leftover color bar foundation and la girl concealer to create a custom shade for my skin and this was an absolute success do you see what i'm seeing the foundation looks seamless and i really enjoyed how artsy and atelier esque this technique made me feel every new tutorial i'm whipping out a new blush from my makeup dungeon today i thought i would try two new blush blushes that i got and i never tried it's been sitting in the dungeon for a year or so first is a cream blush from this brand called in color and second is from color bar the in color cream blush i only got it for the packaging the shade is a cool toned barbie pink color but the formula is too satiny and low on pigment and the blush just disappeared 90s makeup is incomplete without the ashy gray and blue eye shadows. I've been seeing these types of makeup all over my feed. I don't know if you have ever noticed. I am obsessed with the color green. So I want to add a hint of green to my makeup today. Something else I'm obsessed with is this brand, Pigment Play. I got a bunch of their palettes, shimmers, loose eye shadows on a sale for a really good price. Pigment Play 
playground hero eyeshadow palette in marine clouds the palette looked very promising and this is the first time i'm seeing contrast colors in a single palette can you see the blue and the orange colors it looks like they went according to the color wheel and they picked out the most contrast and complementing colors to go with the palette first i applied a matte beige color all over my lids and then i applied matte blue eyeshadow on my lids as well formula is patchy ideally you should use an eye primer for these types of makeup today's makeup is period makeup it's supposed to look messy and low in quality so i skipped primer without an eye primer the quality of the pigment is okay like could give 7 out of 10 today's star of the show is pigment play iridescent loose pigment powder in golden hour it's a ashy green shimmer eyeshadow when applied with fingers you get a shimmery metallic finish it performs better with fingers with a fluffy brush uh, the shimmers will look more scattered and barely there kind of a finish totally up to you because both are trending these days these are my inspo so i went ham on the loose eyeshadow green translucent shimmer on top of sea blue kind of gave a teal blue color i blended the shimmer all over the lids so it kind of looks like a single eyeshadow i'm using two types of kajal a creamy kajal from sugar to first line my eyes and then a smudge proof kajal from mars on my waterline try to use a waterproof and smudge proof kajal on the waterline so at the end of the day you wouldn't look like a panda i'm still on a hunt for a good long lasting smudge proof kajal if you have any recommendations let me know i will apply the mask kajal at the end story time this is my second time uh, doing this makeup the first time failed miserably this is where i went wrong i applied way too much kajal and ruined the eye makeup keep your eyeliner medium sized or thin and applying kajal on the lower waterline will just be enough especially if you have small eyes the thing about 90s makeup is it has to look undone it has to look unhinged imbalanced and you should look like a character out of a series or a show the end goal is to look like a character that belongs to that period in my last video i said volumizing lashes might weigh down soft girl aesthetics like igari makeup I was on Pinterest the entire day looking at dozens of photos 90s people loved mascara not like Gen Z 2016 false lash kind of a volume it definitely looks voluminous and the lashes complemented the heavy ashy gray eyes and brown lip liners so go in with your trusted volumizing mascara and i'm using my maybelline falsies lash lift this is what we are gonna do for every cream product i applied on my face i'm gonna apply the same equivalent powder formula on top so for foundation it's loose setting powder If you have applied a highlighting concealer then a translucent powder to brighten up that area i will skip the translucent powder i don't need this for cream blush it's a powder blush for cream contour or bronzer it's powder contour and bronzer before you go in with your powder formula you have to make sure there isn't any concealer caking up uh, those fine lines i took a dense fluffy eyeshadow brush from bh cosmetics and made sure the concealer is not caked up on that area how to create the iconic 90s brown lip liner and frosty lip gloss look first i'm gonna line my lips with swiss beauty bold matte lip liner in cherry brown it's a nice deep cherry brown lip liner can you believe i got it for rupees 50 i like this formula more than mars edge of desire lip liner non-drying on my lips and i got a bunch of lip liner from inside and swiss beauty let me know if you want a swatch video i don't have a frosty pale you know ashy lip gloss so what i used was the fay beauty gloss in transforming it's a clear lip gloss formula with teeny tiny specks of pink shimmers make sure you don't blend the lip liner and the lip gloss i don't know why luckily these two formulas sat on top of each other without blending or fusing for my hair i straightened it and i 
took some pieces from the front section and swept the leftover hair towards the back and I tied it into a tight, sleek, high ponytail. Remember when I told you like looking like a character from a TV show? I still was not emulating the 90s unhinged cool girl hip kind of a vibe. I took a black eyeliner pen and drew a small dot over my existing beauty marks and acne scars. 90s makeup always comes back every single year but it's you know like a repackaged version. This is the first year where I truly felt like a baddie and I really wanted to try 90s makeup. If you like this video give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye guys!